for your consideration, which is an exhibit that we're doing with the Academy and for the Oscar season. And basically, uh, we have nine of our favorite screen print artists create pieces all based on uh, the Best Picture nominees this year. What's great about Gallery 88, and I'm really glad the Academy sort of teamed up with them, was because they are what it's all about in pop culture art. And to have this exhibit of all these Best Picture nominees is really going to bring them out to people who haven't seen them. We love artists that can say so much with so little. Sort of the, the things that we do the best with are people who convey a full emotion without making it seem cluttered. This is like the ultimate uh, experience <laughs> to work with the Oscars. I'm a big fan of all these artists, and um, and I love all. I've seen every single one of the movies. You know, a lot of them made my top ten of the year. So it's really fantastic to see something as big as the Academy Awards and the Oscars coming through and recognizing the screen printing community and Gallery 1988 specifically. But it comes from a passionate place. Every artist that we work with is a pop culture nut and we want to sort of be part of that and show our fandom and we try to make sure that they have the same feeling creating the poster that they do leaving the theater. Once the word Oscars got mentioned, it was a big deal. Coup de Gras at Ali Moss uh, created the 85th official Academy Awards poster with us. He figured if you put each year and represented each year's Best Picture nominee by doing small modifications to the statue to represent the movies, that he would get it across in sort of a quick, fast way, and that's the results you see. But the Schindler's List one is beautiful, and he can do that, but yet make a, a really funny one also for a beautiful mind. It's just a missing trophy, uh, like it never existed. It's an honor to be part of the show. I love everything about it. Still kind of reeling from that feeling. I mean, it made me want to see these movies again. That's sort of the best endorsement I can give to artists.